pouring gasoline on something is something I do use for critics. Uh, now, Eric Karchaluoto, I believe that's how you pronounce his last name, ideasonideas.com, wrote a post called, Is Tim Ferriss Acting Like an Asshole? So, <laughs> pretty self evident title, I think. And that was in response to a spec design competition that I held that set off this entire firestorm. I don't agree with all of his points, but he did have some well thought through arguments that I felt were leading to a more interesting discussion. So I actually promoted that. And it's important to highlight your critics if you're also going to starve certain critics of oxygen. Comments. So I have a very particular method of dealing with comments. I have a lot of comments on my blog, um, averaging anywhere between 150 and 200 comments on each blog post. Some of them you can see here, this is actually old. But uh, some of the posts have 2,000, 3,000 comments. And I have a few very basic rules. The first is make the rules clear. So you'll see here, on the right-hand side, I have the comment rules. And this is something I borrowed from Brian Oberkirk, a very smart guy, a very smart blogger. And it basically says, look, we're going to be cool here. And if you're not cool, we're going to delete your stuff. <laughs> and I'll leave it up to you to understand what cool means. But don't attack each other. If you're going to use profanity, at least make it amusing. And that's it. Use common sense. The zero tolerance rule that I have for comments on my blog is people attacking one another. They can criticize me. In some cases, they can attack me. They cannot attack other people on the blog. There's something called the broken window theory. Uh, this was seen in uh, New York City subways. It's seen in neighborhoods. That you can correlate the degree of violent crime, the frequency of violent crime, to the number of broken windows. Because as soon as someone sees a little graffiti, they look at that as okay. If someone sees a broken window, they view that as an acceptable behavior. And it escalates. So you don't want to let that trend start on your blog. And I view it as my living room. So if you invited someone to your house, let's say they're the friend of a friend, you don't know them very well, and they have a few too many drinks, they kick their shoes off, put their bare feet on your table, start cursing out your friends, start yelling at you, what would you do? You'd ask them to leave. Very simple. You'd ask them to leave, and if they didn't, you grab them by the ear, and you'd yank them up off the chair, and you'd throw them outside. That's the general approach that I have on my blog. I have no obligation to publish negativity. 